So guys, maybe just tell you a little bit about um, I'm a pilot in Europe. Uh, we are a we're a growth equity fund here in Europe, uh, investing in high growth disruptive tech businesses. So the standard spiel, really. Uh, but we've been around quite a long time, actually. So relatively recently in Europe, but you know we've been VC investors in the states, starting in Boston uh, almost 30 years ago. Uh, so in the US, we've got kind of established presence there on the East Coast by Boston. West Coast and Silicon Valley. Uh, we're also present, actively investing in Shanghai through that same US fund. So it's a, it's a global fund, global focus. Uh, we've only been in Europe relatively recently, so kind of investing in the early 2000s by the US fund in names like uh, you know, Provalia, uh, Photobox, Spark2, um, to the point where it really became clear that there was an opening in the market for um, a slightly later stage fund, so clearly, you know, it's a very competitive space on the VC side here in Europe. Where we've positioned the fund is to be slightly later stage and really what we define as growth, which is a number of things, but it's usually a company with proven product and traction in at least one market um, and really chasing a big market. Um, and in scale, what it means is businesses that are getting to a kind of $10 million run rate revenue uh, level. Um, and still growing at high rates, high double-digit triple rates. Um, companies don't need to be profitable, it's great if they are, um, but what's more important to us is that there's a real clear path to human profitability. Um, and so that's kind of where we are. We've got a 250 million euro fund here in Europe for that strategy. Uh, we've been investing that since late, since late 2012. Uh, we've got 14 uh, businesses in the portfolio today, and if, you know, if you're to look at what we what we do, you pretty much break it 50-50 between the kind of consumer-facing B2C businesses, so e-commerce, online marketplaces, uh, and social gaming, and on the other side, we've a uh, a number of kind of software-enabled SaaS businesses, uh, which is another big area of focus for us. So, really, in terms of you know where we come in for a lot of these companies, uh, they're at that stage where they're beginning to take off. Clearly, they've you know performed extremely well today. Uh, for a lot of those guys, you know the key next step is all from the U.S. to the Asian markets, and that's where we feel, you know, we've got good depth uh, and a great team stateside where we actively work with them to make that happen. Um, so maybe just to give you a brief overview of two deals which we recently closed here in Europe since the New Year. Um, so the first one is uh, Finance Check. Finance Check are a Hamburg-based business essentially an online loan comparison platform. So if you think about it, as a consumer, you want a small consumer loan. The traditional model is that you go to visit your local branch store, you fill in far too many forms, um, it then goes through the bank's black box and they tell you yes or no. This is more an aggregator, and really here in the UK, you can think of Money Supermarket as an example. So they're operating in Germany, working with all the major banks, um, over 30 banks plugged into this platform, you enter your details once, and they provide you with a kind of reverse option uh, quote for the most, you know, for the cheapest loan uh, on your terms. So these guys aren't the market leader, but they are very strong, number two, um, showing great traction, a great founding team in Hamburg who actually reached out to us kind of a year and a half before we ultimately invested. So when they first came to us, they were a little bit early stage, we kept the dialogue going, and then, you know, um, they, they performed the plan and we were delighted to, to work with them. Um, second investment we've done since the new year uh, is a company in the ad tech space called Jam. So these guys are a mobile marketing uh, platform, a very data-driven team, and actually, you know, not at all European focused. These guys actually came out of Buenos Aires, and two brilliant founders who worked together and started business together before. Um, they had come to London, and we're just showing incredible traction on a bootstrap business with a really small uh, but very technical team. And really what these guys are all about is you know, the traditional you know, ad tech space we all understand. Mobile as a space is one where you know, marketing spend is actually lagging behind and there's a number of reasons for that. It's obviously it's more difficult, it's a, it's a world without cookies and, and everyone is still adapting to that world. What Jamp are doing really well is kind of pushing forward this new transition from just getting installs or retargeting clicks to actually optimizing for things that really matter to these companies. So to give you an example, these guys are the global mobile marketing platform for Uber. Uh, so all of Uber's mobile marketing efforts are channeled through Jamboree. 
a really small Buenos Aires team, just to reiterate, that are doing a great job. And really what they're optimizing for, in Uber's case, is not an install, it's actual engagement. So it's, you know, when's the first time you booked your first Uber? If it's in the case of OLX, and you know, one of the huge marketplaces in Latin, it's when have you actually put your first, you know, uh, item for sale on the site. So those guys are doing a great job. We led a seven million dollar uh, Series A investment in the team. Um, I'm still looking forward to getting down to Buenos Aires uh, for some DD, which I was promised and still haven't been able to do. But uh, maybe someday. But uh, guys, I'll be here for the next, um, you know, forty five minutes and uh, appreciate that as a fund. We're probably a little bit later on, um, but you know, hopefully your conversations can be relevant in the near future. And I'd love to uh, hear about what you guys are doing.